Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate GitHub with ServiceNow. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at github.com or log into our existing account. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make this integration work using a third party app. So let's go and let's try automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are here at automate.io, we want to go to the integrations on top corner of our screen or click on them or just simply hover over them. Once this pop-up window show up, we want to go to the bottom left part and click on uh, see all categories. Once we are all at uh, automate.io slash integrations, uh, we can start in writing down our first app we want to start the integration with or the trigger app. In our case, it's GitHub. Right now, uh, we want to choose its counterpart. In our case, it's ServiceNow. Like this one. Once we chose ServiceNow, we are greeted uh, by some already pre-made integrations between GitHub and uh, ServiceNow. We can pick from a couple of those, like update the record in ServiceNow on a new issue in GitHub and so on. But if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can get to the uh, option of creating your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start uh, your integration with GitHub. So don't go all the way down and don't start with ServiceNow. So let's go with the first one. Let's make it simple. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, you now really want to start with ServiceNow. So let's go with the first one as well. All we have to do now is click Try It Now button. We'll get redirected to sign up page. And all we need to do is register a new account or login into uh, existing account at automate.io and we are basically a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use zapier.com which is quite similar app to automate.io so we also need to create a, an account here and once we do that let's go to the create zap uh, button on the top left corner of your screen So yet again, after we get redirected, we want to start with the first task and that's a trigger. The trigger will be GitHub. Now we have more options to pick from, but let's go with the first one. We hit continue and now we have to sign in to GitHub. On the second action, we want to, as you probably thought, start with the service now. It's all the way down here. So we just have two options. Let's go with the first one, continue. And the last thing is we have to sign in to our ServiceNow account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.